Hey guys, it is a Tuesday afternoon in September. Notice anything different? Huh? How about now? Not sure how well you can see it. Yes, we are leathered up. I am wearing a new leather jacket for my first year plus. As a rider, I've been wearing a textile mesh jacket, Terra Trek 4. Nice jacket, you know, low 100s, armor padding throughout. I had the little back pad insert as well. Um, vents, you know, lots of pockets. All around, very nice jacket. It's also high vis. No complaints about it. Ew, we got here. And I just, um, I was getting a little tired of the high vis. I know it's debatable how well it actually works, how effective it is. But um, I just happened to wander into a Harley dealer two, three weeks ago really nice looking leather jacket. I mean, I've seen lots of leather jackets at the dealership. Most of them are kind of nasty looking, I don't know, like pre-washed or whatever the term is, kind of broken in look. And that's not my look, you know. But there was this really nice jacket, nice soft black leather, had the Harley logo on it. Pulled it down, tried it on, fit beautifully. Um, the price tag was 479 bucks. Um, I did find it online for like 340 or something like that. But, you know, this kind of, that's what started my journey into leather. Um, I figured one day I would get one. So I just started looking around. The jacket that I originally tried on was what Harley calls a lightweight leather jacket. There was some padding, but no removable armor pads. It was pretty thin. I think it's fair to say it was more of a fashion type of jacket than a rider protection jacket. I mean, definitely gives more protection than just riding around in a t-shirt, but it would have been a step down in protection from what I was used to. So I next came across this line of jackets that Harley has, which is the FXRG line, the FXRG jackets, boots, pants, and that's functional extreme riding gear. Um, and that's a whole nother animal. Um, that jacket, the current one that I saw, what is this guy doing? Was um, $695 or something like that. Woo! Right? A lot of money. Um, I did manage to find it for like the low fives. And that one had a removable thermal liner, like my Texel mesh jacket. It then had some other kind of liner with a zipper in front, which was a waterproof liner that stayed in there. Then there was the outer zipper. Um, they call that mid-weight leather jacket in the Harley line. Um, it weighed over seven pounds. I mean, if that's mid-weight, I'd hate to see what heavyweight is. Um, really nice jacket. I mean, really well thought out. Zippered vents on the front. Armor, CE armor at the elbows and shoulders. A spot in the back for a back armor. Um, this thing they call a kidney belt, which is removable. Um, you know, definitely a nice piece of protection. And I would say pretty much on par with the textile mesh jacket that I have. So, nice jacket out of my price range, unfortunately. Um, surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, there are a lot of Harley jackets on eBay. Um, I found a number of people who bought jackets thinking they were going to ride. They rode a couple of times and that's it. And the jackets would sit in their closet. But I was not able to find one my size with 
the stuff I wanted on it. I checked out a local store in my area, which had, um, you know, riding a riding apparel store. It was not Harley gear, but it was nice stuff. And you know, they had some pretty nice heavy riding jackets. I'm gonna say not quite as feature rich as the FXRG line but pretty heavy and you know those were in the $300 range so I was thinking well maybe that's what I'll end up with but I did really want a Harley branded jacket it's just one of those things you know it comes down to a personal taste and preference so I don't know how, I, you know, I just was Googling something and I saw a link for Wisconsin Harley Davidson, their website, and right on their, their home page they had what I think was like last year's FXRG jacket, a recently discontinued one, for half off. And I was, you know, like, what, you know, am I seeing things? They only had large and extra large. Uh, fortunately, I'm a large. So I gave it a real good look over. I slept on it. And then finally I said, let's just try it. You know, worst case, I can return it. So I ordered the jacket. I really didn't find a lot of details about it online. The few reviews I found, people were like, great product, you know, really liked it. So it showed up a few days later, and as soon as I opened it, I was like, yeah, this is, this is me. Um, one thing that I noticed trying on Harley jackets in the dealerships is they seem to be pretty tight fitting. Like I'm a large, it fits, it's not too tight, but there's not a lot of extra space. The extra large had sleeves that were just too long and would not work. So large was my size. I ordered a large. It fit like a glove. I've since added the back armor. And even with that and the thermal liner, you know, fully loaded up, I could put this thing on and it fits. So very pleased with that. And just making some comparisons to it and the textile mesh jacket. The FXRG jacket has two zippered vents in the front, a little less venting than the textile mesh. And I, there's a reason for that. It has to do with the integrity of leather and all that. <clears throat> but so a little less venting, a little less pocket space, which was a little disappointing, but you know, I'm easily working around that. Um, but that aside, it's a whole different animal. You know, first of all, it looks amazing. It really does look great, in my opinion, and in the opinion of the few people who've seen me with it. It feels really good. I mean, the first morning I put it on, I was like, I think my bike's actually faster now. Um, just kidding, but really nice jacket um, quality soft leather um, not worn in looking I'm sure it will wear in but um, let's see so what you know as, as terms of features um, like I mentioned removable armor pieces um, a really nice liner inside I call it Kokona I don't know maybe from coconut fibers or something like that but just really comfortable and surprisingly not as hot as I thought. Today, for example, right now it's 80 degrees. I'm wearing a leather jacket. I'm all closed up. I've got my two vents open on the front and I'm cool. I can feel the air moving through me. I'm not perspiring. Um, I wouldn't want to wear it in 90 degree heat. You know, I'm definitely hanging on my textile mesh. I think it's going to be textile mesh is going to be the summer jacket and the leather will be fall um, as close into winter as I'm going to ride and early spring and that will probably be how I you know how I wear them I have a regular leather jacket 
non-riding jacket I got a few years back just for winter time. It weighs in at about two and a half pounds. The FXRG jacket comes in at seven and a half pounds, and that didn't include the back pad. So with that, it's probably at eight. It is a hefty jacket. I mean, when you pick it up, you know you're picking up. It's got some beef to it. And once you put it on, though, you don't really feel all that hanging on you. It feels good. So just to kind of sum up, I mean, if, if you're a rider and you're thinking about one or the other, um, the time of the year you ride in is obviously a factor in the kind of temperatures you have. But I would say if you plan to ride long term, you know, in terms of years, like I do, I would certainly get uh, both of them as a goal. Um, I could definitely have continued riding with my textile mesh only. I mean, I've worn that in like 35, 38 degrees and had no issues with cold at all. My hands are, are usually gone long before anything else. So I could have stayed with that. But there is, you know, there's something about a leather riding jacket, the appearance, uh, how, how it feels. Um, it's understandable why people like them and why they're so popular. So, if you are able to acquire one, it is an enjoyable thing to ride with. So that's, um, that's where I'm at. It's been a good end of, of summer for my bike. I put my shocks on a week or two ago, which has solved all comfort issues. I replaced my spark plug wires um, two nights ago, I broke one of them when I pulled it off. And um, now I have a nice piece of riding gear with the jacket. So this should carry me from now right up to the point where it's too cold to ride in winter. So I'll put a few links and part numbers in my description if you're interested in that. And a picture of what this thing looks like on yours truly. So that's my uh, my new thing right about now. I hope everybody is doing well and riding safe. Till next time.